So hybrid microservice platform, the, the, we have the, today's agenda is very big. So first of all, understand the, uh, what is the platform? The TS40 is a platform, means there is a website, there is a mobile app, there is a desktop app, there is a backend, there is a database. Entire things is called a platform, that's it. So now the question is, um, the, how many types of platform we have? Like how many types of development architecture we have, okay? Um, you will be working uh, most of the time, most of the development is happening is based on the microservice, okay? But millions and billions of application is based on the monolithic. So in a simple way, if we stop the, if we stop the, the TS for you now, we are going to soon stop the TS for you, then you guys will see whole platform is shut down. This is called the monolithic. One single shutdown can cause the entire system is down. It's monolithic. And billions of application is built based on like this because old style application. Or many company, they just start building the monolithic. Monolithic means one things just control everything. Means one code base for everything, okay? And opposite, opposite of microservice means in your platform, in ts for use platform, there is the enrollment user process is very separated, right? There is a technical interview very separated. There is a, like a, a, the payment is very separated. There is a chat is very separated. There is a notification is very separated. TS40 has a 16 service, but as of now, it's a monolithic platform. Means if we shut down the server, it will shut down everything else. Okay? So monolithic means your everything is Joga Kichuri, means everything is one place. But and company is having issues to maintain them. So then company started building the hybrid. Hybrid is different, pure microservice is different. The whole purpose of this, that you want to build the, app, the platform in a way that it can be easily integrated with one another. It can be at the scale easily. It can be debug easily. It can be enhanced easily. Monolithic is very difficult. All of the benefits I just said in monolithic platform is very difficult because it's a one code base is very complex. In the, in the microservice base means modular basis is easy. He's developing one, you are developing one, you are developing one, you are developing one, everybody is developing. Of course, behind the scene, we are deploying all together. That's the cloud ops job, but the goal is Well, it's strange, you should not come to the workshop, man. <laughs> um, so, so, so microservice, the purpose of microservice is you can develop the application in small, small pieces, so it will not be breaking once a, one service is breaking. Okay, one service is breaking, all other services working, microservice-based platform. Monolithic means one service is stopped, everything is stopped. Everything is stopped. Okay. In between, there is another called the hybrid. Another called the hybrid. Means the approach is different. Approach is different. So before you understand the hybrid, you understand the, so monolithic based application, there is only one database. Means one database, means one database cluster. So application is connected with the one database. Microservice based architecture, because you are developing one service and you have a separate database. You are developing one service, you have a separate database. So it is separate database for each of the services. And that's the reason once this service is down, you are still fine. Customer is still see that things is working because database is the core piece of anything and everything in the software development because this is where data is getting stored. So that's the pure microservice. All I just said that every service has a separate database, but there is a hybrid microservice as well. Hybrid microservice is, well, let's do the, the service will be separated. They will have their own API. Everything is different, right? But the database is one. Database is one. 
So that's called the hybrid microservice. So now you can ask who decide all of this, why this all this happening? This is part of the, the senior manager decision, architect decision, not your decision. DevOps engineer is not in this, not any software engineer in this. It's a management decision. It's an architect decision, how they want to build the application. Okay, simple as this. Now the question is, what is your role? From the QA point of view, you have no role. You just get the API, you need to test it, you need to understand everything else, and you do it your part. For the cloud apps, they have the major role to play here because they have to deploy the entire, the, all the services and make sure all the services working together with one another. You don't care, you get the UI and you are clicking the service one and service two is hitting, you don't care any of this. You care, I click the this button and the another button is popping up, you're good to go. But they have to ensure if so, if the user is hitting the service one, like the from the user, he's trying to, he click the payment, it actually hit the payment service. So that's the route, creating this route, responsibility of the DevOps engineer. So now they have to understand the, how the each of the service work, how the service architecture is, how the service level database is working. So they have to invest good amount of time to understand the platform before they deploy. Okay, and that's the way the knowledge goes. So this platform we have here today, we'll be discussing about the, the microservice, hybrid microservice based platform.